coastal erosion as a problem. A short write-up so that you are not trapped here. Now, see, the coasts are by nature, they are dynamic. Coasts by nature, these are dynamic. Coasts are zones of aggradation and also zones of degradation. The main agents are the winds and the waves. So I said coastal zones are both zones of aggradation and also zones of degradation. The agents being winds and the waves. Okay, now there are four reasons of increased uh, coastal erosion. Number one is sea level rise. The sea level rise associated with global warming, melting Arctic, melting Antarctic, sea level rise. There has been about 2 to 3 mm rise across the world because of which the waters have encroached 1 to 3 meters from their high tide levels. Ye across the world, this already is a reality. This is resulting in erosion along the coasts. That's one reason. The second reason is increase in a frequency of storms and storm surge, mainly in the tropical and subtropical waters. Increase in the frequency of storms and storm surge in the tropical and the subtropical waters. That's one. The third is increased a construction, increased development activities along the coast that makes the coastlines unstable. Because of this, there is increased erosions along the urban areas. The construction of urban resorts, okay, urban areas. And the fourth very important reason is sand mining. Urban areas may have, ports may be here, whatever port areas, urban resort areas. And the fourth reason is sand mining. Okay, sand mining, and this is again directly associated with the construction economies, linked with construction economy. Itna bada economy hai, many of us did not realize it. Okay, this is a major mafia economy across the world, sand mining, because of the construction economy. Now, what are the solutions? So, in India, a CRZ regulation, the CRZ regulation, as notified in 2019, has provisions related to coast conservation. CRZ notification 2019 has notification related to coastal okay, erosion. There are, there are three pronged solutions. So, one is creation of protected areas as under zone 3. If you remember zone 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 3 mein, which comes beyond 1 and 2. Usme sirf limited agriculture allowed hai. Okay, that is one. What areas? The second is large scale coastal plantations. Khaskar mangrove for waves and for storms protection. Storms protection. And the third is Zone 2 ke liye. Zone 2 which already has urban areas, which already has ports. Zone 2 ke liye. There are uh, structural uh, protection walls. Okay, such as coasts pitching, such as groin construction, such as storm walls. Zone 2 ke liye. Jaapa already urban areas hai. In those areas, these are the structural protection walls. Up construction karoge, structural protection walls and uh, structural protection features, engineering features, coast pitching, coast pitchings, you have to have stones, concretes, groin, G R O Y N E. Groins, these are like walls perpendicular to the coast. Uh, you, coast hai, you make walls like this. Looking from top, you make walls like this. You make walls like this. So, agar erosion hota bhi hai, erosion from here, there is some deposition happening here. Erosion from here, there will be deposition happening here. Erosion from here, there will be deposition happening here. So, they will protect the coast. Okay. Because there is 
a current that flows along the coast is called as the long shore drift can erode the coast so ye jo groins hain and storm walls hain these are something like breakwaters they break the force of the waves there's something like breakwaters yeah.